Hello, my friend. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I came to art, how I went from a soul-crushing corporate career to being a full-time artist. If you're new on this channel, my name is Tatiana Dennis, and here I share kawaii drawing tutorials and how to monetize your art using print-on-demand services. If this sounds interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of every new video I create. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in Soviet Union. I went to a regular public school. I didn't show any signs of extreme creativity or talent for art when I was in school. You know, it was like a regular childhood. I did lots of crafts. I used to sew clothes for my dolls. I always enjoyed making stuff, but the idea of doing drawing was not part of my consciousness. I remember when I was 10 years old and I was walking around the room bored and I told my dad, dad, what should I do? And he said, draw this vase, vase, okay? Uh, and I said, oh, but I don't know how. And he said, well, you just look at it and whatever you see, you draw it on the paper. And I really remember that moment as a defining moment. I was 10 when I felt like I wanted my drawing to look like something. I wanted to look like that vase. I wanted the flowers to look like flowers in it. And sadly, that instinct, not impulse, that impulse didn't go anywhere further. We just kind of stopped there and I went on and I studied computer science and I went the science way. And the whole creativity and drawing was kind of on pause for the next 20 years. Later, my family immigrated from Russia to New York, and I went to a college, a university, and I studied computer science, and I got a good corporate job at Accenture, where, you know, it was easy in a way to keep showing up to work, but I literally was feeling that I was dying inside a little bit every day. Like I enjoyed my work. I was good at it, but it was not filling my soul. It was not hitting the spot. I always felt like I wanted to do something creative and I wanted to make stuff. That was the thing. I felt like I wanted to make stuff and I had no idea how to go about it. Like I already have my degree, right? I already have my job. How the heck do I go from that to completely changing careers? So let me tell you how it happened. After three years of working at Accenture and moving to Australia in the meantime, I decided that it was time to take a leap. I just, I just felt it and I told my husband, I said, babe, I think I wanna quit my job and go to art school. And I mean, how crazy does that sound? And you know what he said? He said, you can do anything you set your mind to. And that's all I needed at the time. I was like, okay, I'm doing it. So I quit the job. He was the sole provider for the time being. And I really am so grateful for this opportunity. And so I enrolled in Julian Ashton Art School and I studied there for one year full time. This one year has enabled me to learn the foundational skills of drawing. Not kawaii, but drawing, classical drawing. We spent days painting still lives, we drew nude models, we did lots and lots of pencil sketches and charcoal sketches. It's basically the classical draftsmanship training, uh, the, the skill of drawing realistically. After art school, I took a year to travel. Well, we took a year to travel and some other family stuff has happened. So, in all this time, I have began to look for what it is that I want to create. And I've always loved kawaii and Japanese culture and the cute stuff. It just really resonates with me, the, the whole sentiment and how simple it is and how much you can express with just a few lines. So I began to draw and draw the world around me and I wasn't sharing it. For four years, every single day, I filled up a page in my diary with little doodles. Didn't, you know, it was not for social media. No one actually saw them. They're sitting in a box in a closet. <laughs> but that has enabled me to explore and find my artistic interest. 
And so then I became pregnant with our son. That was 2015. And right there, uh, I felt that, okay, it is time to do something productive with this art. Actually, I, after the pregnancy, I remember once my son was born and I was sitting there breastfeeding him. And right there, it hit me. I was like, oh my goodness, I never want to go back to the office. I've got to, I've got to turn this into a business. So <laughs> this is how it started to connect. Like all the skills that I have gathered in the past began to connect the art, the tech, the business, um, all of that. And I have put out my first course and I've been teaching ever since then. So you see, it's a long journey. I started drawing when I was 29 years old. I'm 40 now, so that's 11 years ago. So in these 11 years, I have been able to go from a full corporate career while having life in between, while having two children. I have another child now, a daughter. And now I work with publishers. I have my own shop where I sell products. I have a course and I have a membership the Kawaii Drawing Club, which where I put most of my attention now. It's a beautiful community. We co-create together. Every week we have a new uh, activity that brings us one step closer uh, to, to doing the work that we love. And we put stuff up on print and demand. And then we get our art turned into products that we can enjoy and the world can enjoy. And the beautiful thing is that we're all doing it as a group. It is so much more fun and powerful to do it as a group, to have the space where you can implement together and support each other. And you know, there are days when you feel high and there are days when you feel low, but when you have this place, this space to come back to, you can always refill your cup and rise again and show up again. If this story is interesting to you, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Now, when did you realize that you love drawing? Did you always draw since you were a child or are you coming to drawing later in life? Let me know in the comments. I would really love to hear your story. My personal journey was not a straight one or a very direct one or even premeditated you know I wasn't planning on it but I am like in a really happy place creatively now I do what I love this is meaningful this is my purpose here to create beauty in the world to share it with you to to nurture this community and to co-create with you I am so blessed I am so thankful for every single one of you and I truly truly believe in your creative power and potential Join our community, let's create together and let's see where this can take us. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.